This group of letters is slightly different from the compound uh, building blocks that we are used to. So let's have a look at this French R. We have the in stroke that you already know by now. And then with this one, we're starting slightly above the waistline, coming down in a light downstroke, moving over into a little arm, and then having a heavy downstroke curve and light up again, which is kind of like a half compound curve as we know it from the second half of that K loop as well. Now you can make that top stroke light or you can add a little weight to it. The important thing to remember is that the R starts above the waistline. It needs that extra bit of space. If you fit the R inside the X height, it's going to look off. So we don't want that. We want it to be above the waistline. And whether you have a, a small line or a heavier line at the top there doesn't really matter. It has to extend and overshoot the waistline just a little bit. Same for the S. The S also has this in stroke and then you start above the waistline and come down in a heavy curve. Don't forget the exit stroke. And it's uh, almost a vertical curve and you want to loop it back and end in kind of a little ball point just for an excess point because remember we want our letters to be at a 55 degree angle. So the 55 degree angle will dissect the S curve form. We're not following the slant really with this one. We're keeping the S bowl and that belly a little bit more vertical so that the 55 degree um, angle cuts through it. Now speaking of X height, this is how you build an X. Good thing we've practiced all those ovals already. And here's a little variation as well because we're going to build it in two curves and that first one you will have a downstroke that will not be heavy. Sorry about that. Every rule has an exception. So the first half of the curve is not heavy. The second half of the curve is the C and that is heavy. So you start, you curve over along the slant, very light and end in a little ball point there. And then you make a C motion and that is where the weight is going to be. You want those two lines to meet in the middle to follow the slant line and to shoot out a little bit again so you don't want to close that oval. This X in the middle, the bowl is, is too closed. I should have started a bit on the, on the front there to leave it a little more space. And now the Z is going to be an overturn arch and then just the lower portion of that underturned loop that we already know. There are different ways to build a lowercase copper plate Z or Z. That bowl is a little wide, excuse me. And um, this is the kind of the traditional one. So we want the bowl of the Z to go out beyond the heavy downstroke leg of that overturn arch a little bit. And again, we want to make sure that there's a little triangle of space between the two and that the line crosses at the baseline. And we're done with the lowercase letter forms. Congratulations, you now have a whole alphabet at your disposal. I hope you're taking some time and practice one line for each letter. And remember to upload your practice pages to the community.